it's a new day and a new tournament 6 am in mumbai and i am moving towards the airport where am i going this time well i'm going to a place called the isle of man uh, i'll tell you more about it but firstly my favorite scene as i've always told you going towards the mumbai airport in the morning it looks even more pretty my flight is at 8:30 8:50 pm around so i'm well in time and it's quite bright in the morning in mumbai now where exactly is isle of man this small little island i'll show you it's right in between ireland and uk and it's a very very small island as you can see there at the mumbai airport i really love some of the shops especially my favorite one is at the book shops because you know i'm always very excited by the feeling of picking up a book reading it there also taking it in the flight and then reading um this time i did not buy one as i already had a book with me the flight was quite empty but uh the food that was served was so delicious look at this this was the breakfast early in the morning it's a very long flight 9 hour flight so i got masala dosa upma chutney <laughs> mm and the great news for me was that this was completely empty uh and i was so happy because it's like even better than business class i would say there was this uh, very nice feature on the entertainment system where you could track the flight where it is but it was interactive generally you could track but here you could zoom in zoom out and uh, as you could as you zoomed out here at this point we were somewhere in armenia i felt uh, moving towards turkey and you could see the terrain where the flight was and you know in between i would open the window um, on the side and see outside how it looked and through this you know you realize that the world is really not that big you know i can sort of travel from one corner to another in in a day now with the with the airline so yeah there from mumbai we began and going towards london and then came the lunch it was rice cauliflower and dal with chocolate mousse and um, chana and you know 8 hours just flew away i read books i watched some movie i ate i slept and we reached london uh, airport and it was a maybe the most relaxed journey of my life and as the flight <clears throat> landed always a great feeling that you are fine this is the business class it had these pods i don't know how you feel about it i feel like it's very sort of cramped especially after i sat on that uh, chair where no one else was there that was british airways through which i traveled big big flight and this is the london heathrow airport one of the biggest in the world and it had a train uh, underground train which took me from one terminal to another uh, very few airports i think in the world have a train inside it but i know that there are a few more like maybe dubai has one and uh, a few other uh, airports and uh, yeah i got to know that actually i have to travel to another airport no it was not from heathrow itself to go to isle of man i had to travel to london city airport which is one and half kilo uh, one and half hours away so it was a bit tricky uh, to meet me at the london airport came my friend tulsi vrunda vaidya Uh, I had met her back in 2015 when I had come to play the London Chess Classic. She's an amazing chef, and she, you know what? Uh, we travelled by train towards London City Airport, and she brought uh, food for me. In fact, in the train, you can see her there putting some butter inside the pav bhaji. She cooked some amazing pav bhaji for me. Uh, it was a brilliant day of food and. She's like, don't, don't, don't take video, and she's very shy in general. But uh, I ate in the in this train, and it's so wonderful to meet uh, friends when you go out of the country. Then we took another uh, sort of metro from Stratford, going towards the London City Airport. 
and there when we reached the london city airport i meet, met the dutch team and erwin lemmy was like oh for the photo i'll tuck in my tummy but actually it was a video <laughs> erwin is a wonderful friend there we have hari krishna anish is there yan smiths um, there's also max warmer dam so um, and then we moved towards our flight which was operated by logan air uh, and uh, all the dutch players were there it was a very small flight <clears throat> uh and it was just one hour journey my uh, next next to me was anton korobo who is a very top gm from ukraine and when we got down at isle of man um it was very windy very windy very cold already i think the temperature was around 3 or 4 degree celsius the airport is quite small Isle of Man in general is a is a small place uh, with a population of around 80 to 90,000 people. Its size is quite big. In fact, I checked that in terms of square meters it was almost as big as Mumbai. Anish, you got your uh, luggage, yes? I got my luggage first. Already you are in good. Your tournament has started well. Yeah, let's hope my safe in the room is working. So. <laughs> well, Anish always roasting with it there. Uh, there was a tweet by with it. You can check it out. That is Alan Onsby. He is the tournament director. He came to pick up all the players especially because so many of us were on the same flight. Um and there was also the arbiter there. Uh it was very nice to get down and have the organizer come and pick us up all the players uh were put in this van in fact i got another car because my uh hotel is a little bit far away from where all of them were staying um erwin has always been a great great fan and friend of chess base india you know he watches it regularly so he always enjoys uh anything that we are doing so i'm very grateful for that and there you have hari as well one of india's top gms It was quite late in the night. I think it was already around 9:30. So uh, most of the things were closed down. But I'll show you Isle of Man at some point. Hi everyone. I have reached Isle of Man, and I am right now at the promenade. I want to show you around a bit. So this is the promenade here, and this is the waterfront here. It's very windy right now. It's very cold. And this road right from here, if I go straight on, it takes me to the venue which is the Villa Marina. And my hotel is this side. This way if I walk, uh I stay in the hotel Edelweiss. One nice thing here is that it's right hand drive. So it's just like India. Okay, so I cross. And I'll be showing you the Isle of Man a bit more later in some videos, but right now entering my hotel at Delvice here. Have a look at the room. It's a very cozy room, but has a good view outside. I can see here, and a bed, and also a place to work, and a small little. washroom here this will be my home for the next 15 days or so i'm excited for the fide grand swiss this is sagar shah signing off hi everyone uh, it's early in the morning next day 
and I've just edited my vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but I wanted to show you one thing before closing it, so I shot this. This is the view from the outside of my room, and you can see that it's seven thirty in the morning, and yet it is just so dark. It's like the sunrise happens so so late here. <laughs> It's always very interesting when you go to a new place to observe these things. I'm going to go on a walk today. There's the opening ceremony. It's going to be epic.